Yay. morning it's day two of this hike or day four if you add in the other two days and we sat there for 14 weeks while Tracy recuperated um, Good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning now it's a little bit chilly we had a big climb this morning and then coming back down we have a water crossing coming up here because the bridge is wiped out it's supposed to be a nice day today about high of 54 Tonight it's going to be down to 36. Last night I got down to about 28 degrees and I was fine in the 40 degree quilt uh, with my clothes on. It was pretty comfortable so I didn't lose any sleep. I actually slept pretty good last night. Trace, how'd you sleep? Slept excellent. Yeah, so uh, good night's sleep and I don't know, we're either doing 8 miles or 10 miles today. We'll see. We'll see how my foot holds up, how we feel. So we'll see you guys on down the trail. Yep, so the bridge is washed out. How cold was it? How you doing? Doing good. Nice little break. Yeah, we needed a break. So if anybody doesn't know, this is trail magic here, or a form of it. Uh, the, usually this time of year, the water is dried up and it's starting to flow now. So water supplies are real easy, but people will leave water um, at certain spots. Like this is a road crossing. So this is basically trail magic. Somebody left a bunch of water here for the through hikers and the hikers to camel up before they climb. This is a big mountain we're going to be climbing here. It's about 4,400 feet. We're sitting at 2,100, 2,200 feet right now. So we have to do about 2,000 feet over the next four miles. Um, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a little climb. Now we'll take us up to Chestnut Knob Shelter. And then we're going to decide whether we're going to stay there or head on down. There's some campsites about two miles past that. So uh, we're going to finish taking a break here and then get on up the trail.
So we just made it up 800 feet. Got 1,400 more feet to go. Okay, so we made it to Chestnut Knob Shelter, uh, 4409. Uh, it's a beautiful day out. It's 2.30, we're gonna call it a day here, I think. Uh, my foot is really hurting, but what's really cool, this is Burke's Garden. You see it behind me, they call this God's thumbprint. It's huge. <laughs> this is such a cool sight up here. And then back up over here, let me show you this. See back behind us. Uh, there's a, a right about in there. That's Mount Rogers. And to the to the left of it is White Top Mountain. So that's Grayson Island. Uh, it's 29 miles away from where we're at. Uh, the hikers behind me, they were just there uh, probably about a week ago. They're through hiking. So we're going to evaluate what we're going to do here, see if we're going to go on. There's a stealth camp about two miles ahead. I don't know. We'll see. This is such a beautiful view to be up here, wake up in the morning. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, that's it for the day. Day three. Uh, we did almost 10 miles. It was all uphill the whole way. We did a 2200 foot climb elevation yes, gain. Yes, four miles. Yeah, that was ridiculous. But we're up here now and we got a beautiful view of God's thumbprint, uh, Burke's Garden. So how did your day go? It went great. Lots and lots of up. Way too much. No reason for all that up. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful up here. It's windy though. Yeah, it is windy, but the shelter is completely enclosed. Um, we have about a 10 mile day tomorrow to Jenkins a shelter, um, and it's going to be a little bit of an easier day. Not so much climbing, actually, right off the rip, we go downhill, so which is nice. So that's all I got for the day, Tracy. Yep, see you tomorrow on the trail. We'll see you tomorrow.